All right, in this video, we have uh, the following problem. It says, at what point in the first quadrant does the line y equals 2x plus 5 intersect a circle with radius 3 and center 0, 5? So the first thing is we want to get the equation for the circle. And the equation for the circle, or for a circle, is uh, x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared equals r squared. So h and k are the coordinates for the center of the circle, and r is the radius of the circle. So uh, we're given both of those things, and so we can just insert those in the right places. So h will be the first coordinate of the center, which is 0. k will be the second coordinate of the center, which is 5, and the radius is 3. So that's the equation for that circle. And so what we want to do is find the intersection point with the line y equals 2x plus 5, at least the one that's in the first quadrant. So, um, so what you want to do is actually make a substitution. We have 2x plus 5 is equal to y. So what we're going to do is take 2x plus 5 and insert it or substitute it in for y in this equation. So that would look like that. So you can see that I've just taken and replaced y by 2x plus 5. So that gives us an equation that is uh, has one variable and so we can solve for x. So first thing is to do a little simplification. Um, we have x squared plus 2x quantity squared equals 9. That's all I did there and you'll be able to see that on the next slide because I just copied it over. So that's what I had there at the very bottom. It was uh, marked out by the watermark there. Okay, so next I'm just going to keep simplifying. I square uh, 2x, the quantity 2x, and I get 4x squared equals 9. And then over on the left side I've got some like terms that I can combine. I have 1x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. And so uh, now the equation is as simple as I can get it on either side. It's a quadratic equation, right, because of the x squared in there, but it's one of the simpler ones where there's no middle term. In other words, there's no term that just has an x in there. There's the x squared term. There's a term that's just a constant with no x, but the, there's no x term in there. So what uh, you want to do when you have that situation is just to isolate the x squared by itself on one side and to do that all we would have to do is divide both sides by 5 that gives us x squared is equal to 9 fifths okay so x squared is equal to 9 fifths and then uh, we use the square root property right that x uh, if x squared equals a number then x is going to be equal to plus or minus the square root of 9 fifths so um, we get two solutions to that equation and we can simplify it a little bit uh, here by just splitting the square root up uh, the, uh, across the top and bottom of the fractions and then the square root of 9 is just 3 so we have two solutions x is either positive 3 over square root 5 or negative 3 over square root 5 so they tell us uh, that they want the solution that's in the first quadrant right so in the first quadrant, that's uh, the x values there are going to be positive in that quadrant, right? And they're to the right of the y-axis, so they have positive x values. So the, the x-coordinate of uh, the intersection point will be 3 divided by square root 5. So now what we need to do is to figure out the other uh, coordinate, right? That's the first coordinate, our x-coordinate. So we need to go and substitute. Uh, that value for x into one of the equations and find what the y value is. So I just chose the line. It's a little bit simpler than the other one. And so I just went in and replaced the x by 3 divided by square root 5. And you can do a little bit of simplification. Just multiply out those first two. So y is 6 divided by square root of 5 plus 5. And so uh, we have now the x and the y coordinates of uh, the point of intersection. 
and then if you want you can you know make further simplifications you, you could uh, rationalize the denominators there if you wanted to or get a decimal approximation uh, if you get a decimal approximation you get that x uh, is about 1.3416 and y is about 7.6833